XRP is on an absolute tear. This weekly candle is up roughly uh, 70% as of right now. We also have 2017 era altcoins, IOTA, XRP, and more surged 25%. Obviously, just showed you guys XRP has surged a lot more than 25%. I'm pretty sure we're up 40% just on the day blackrock chief investment officer says bitcoin will overtake 10 trillion gold as primary store of value coinbase executive reveals 14 billion dollar burst of institutional capital is entering bitcoin in the crypto markets the world's biggest crypto fund manager says bitcoin is the next step in the evolution of money and the parabolic rally is a real possibility after ethereum prices surge to 547 these are a few of the things that we are going to cover on today's video right now the market is booming it is booming um <laughs> this is stuff that we haven't seen in a very very long time this is crazy pump action going on right now so i'm excited to be making this video if you guys are excited and your regular viewers of the show you want to show some support just drop it a like it helps a ton with the youtube algorithm pushing this out to more people and with that said we are going to dive right into it welcome to the digital investor channel and today the parabolic rally is a real possibility after ethereum prices surge to 547 dollars Traders expect Ethereum price to move higher after the altcoin secured a new 2020 high at 547 today. So that is insane. I mean, just think a few months ago, guys, a few months back, did we really think Ethereum was going to 547 or did we think this was going to be, you know, taking a little bit more time, right? Taking a couple more months. I think that this rally has really taken a, a good chunk of us uh, by surprise here. The world's biggest crypto fund manager says, Bitcoin is the next step in the evolution of money and I can't use it to buy coffee is no longer a sound argument. I'd have to agree with that, right? We were seeing crypto uh, debit cards come out all the time where now you can use crypto, you can use Bitcoin to actually buy a coffee. So the biggest crypto fund manager, Michael uh, Sonnenschein, I hope I'm saying that right, says Bitcoin is not a fad that will fade away. He's the managing director of Grayscale Investments. Investors understand that buying Bitcoin and putting it in their portfolio is meant to be a store of value, inflation hedge, a digital gold, and a digital form of money, uh, Sonnenschein told Business Insider. Investors should not get hung up over the fact that there are only 21 million Bitcoin that will ever exist because each coin has 100 million units yes and with only 21 million bitcoin um you know if if bitcoin is successful right if bitcoin is successful and people do start treating it uh like an equivalent or possibly even better than gold right like a digital gold that can be moved much easier than gold uh this this coin has the potential to go very high right that's why you guys hear people talk about a $100,000 Bitcoin and you guys even hear people talk about oh, a half a million dollar Bitcoin a $1 million Bitcoin and that's why because there's only 21 million um, so imagine if, if every millionaire owned one Bitcoin there's only 21 million Bitcoin and so <laughs> there is a very low supply and investors like the fact that they can buy a fraction of the coin and add to their position over time the crypto asset manager pointed out we also have the Coinbase executive reveals 14 billion bursts of institutional capital entering Bitcoin and crypto markets. The head of institutional coverage at Coinbase, Brett Tejpal, says institutional interest in crypto assets has grown more than threefold since he joined the crypto exchange in April of 2020. So that's very, you know, not too far off, right? Just April of 2020, guys. Um, to today and it's grown threefold that is pretty impressive um i i it'd be hard for me to find another industry that i could show you guys that has the same amount of growth and i think that's why a lot of us are in the crypto space it's because we've realized that you cannot really make the gains that you can make in crypto anywhere else that I know of, unless you're doing something illegal or something, um, I'd, I'd love for you guys to show me anything else that can get returns like cryptocurrencies can. So in an interview with the YouTube channel, Hydric and Struggles, Tejpal details some of the main growth areas at Coinbase under his tenor. The Coinbase executive emphasizes that institutional interest in this space is multiplying, multiplying week after week. So he says, we've had an explosion of activity 
I joined in April of this year. At that time, our institutional assets under custody were six billion. Today, we stand at over 20 billion, so more than a three time increase. We're now measuring the fresh capital coming into crypto principally being allocated to Bitcoin in the billions. And so, week after week after week, we've had an explosion of incoming capital. Tejpal explains how the exchange has been preparing for the onslaught of institutional money and its partnerships and philosophy on how to deal with government governmental regulation of the crypto sector. He says earlier in the summer, we acqu we acquired an ex execution platform called Tagami, and it radically transformed our ability to cater to institutional clients that want to use smart order routing and algorithmic execution. So the stat there is that our trading volumes are 20 times what they were at the beginning of the year. When I joined in April this year, we upgraded our banking and auditing partners, and we've got JP Morgan and Deloitte. It's really important because both of those firms went through a one to two year period of due diligence to satisfy themselves that we have the right KYC and AML and the fact that we sort of posture ourselves and act like a bank and we've opted into being regulated. We're a safe on-ramp. And that is very cool, guys, right? Uh, Coinbase being a safe on-ramp that they have, they're working with JP Morgan and Deloitte. These are some huge names, right? And of course, they didn't tell us that there has been an onslaught of institutional investors coming in. They didn't tell us that it has been multiplying week after week. They didn't tell us uh, that that they expect this uh, number, the institutional investors, to grow until now, until it pumped. You guys see how this works now? Um, you know, the time to buy is when there is blood on the streets. The time to buy is when everybody else is crying, everybody else is capitulating, and you will absorb the wealth that then flows into these crypto assets. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell as well so you'll be notified every single day that I upload. We make a video like this daily going over Bitcoin, altcoins, and everything going on in the crypto space to try to keep you up to date. I just completed a move, okay? So I didn't uh, get to upload for the past two days because I was running on such little sleep. I'm still unpacking in my new place, um, but we're, we're we're getting settled in now and I'm looking very forward to putting out a video every single day, especially now with things getting so, so exciting for the crypto space. If we go over some prices for today, let's give this a quick refresh. We have Bitcoin sitting at $18,600, Ethereum at $544. XRP guys, XRP is sitting at just under 46 cents and look at that chart. It is literally straight up. We'll look at a better chart of XRP here coming up in a little bit. We have Chainlink at $15, Litecoin at 86, Bitcoin Cash has finally went above the $300 mark, Polkadot at $5, Cardano at 13 cents also pumping. This market is so green today. Even EOS is up to $3.23. Your Stellar guys, your Stellar is at 10 cents. Tezos is up to 237. It is a good day. It is a good day to be a cryptocurrency investor. Your fear and greed index for today is at 91. Yesterday, you guys were at 86. Last week, you were at 90. And last month, you were at 73. Um, the thing is, guys, is that once we are in a bull run, this doesn't matter. Fear and greed indexes don't matter. RSI levels don't matter. Um, if any of you were here in 2017, you understand what I'm talking about. Technical analysis goes completely out the window uh, once these cryptocurrencies really start going. Basically, once there is the bull market, it's starting to, I, I mean, I think we can say we are in a bull market, right? I don't think we're in the most parabolic phase of the bull market, right? I think we definitely, we got, we got a good uh, one, two, maybe even in three years of increasing price to go um but but we have i would say we have definitely bottomed i'm willing to put my money where my mouth is i think we bottomed i think we're in the bull run and that's that i think now this is like complete confirmation with with ethereum over 500 dollars xrp up to uh, over 40 cents i think it's clear to say that xrp has definitely bottomed um again i i will i think i said this last video i'm gonna say it again who is still waiting for a three cent xrp i don't think anybody is i'm even seeing people on twitter um talking about going back into xrp people who have sold now we also have this guys if things couldn't get any more bullish paypal bought 70 percent of all newly mined bitcoin last month as demand rockets keep in mind guys 
Remember Grayscale. Grayscale is buying a ton of Bitcoin. And who else is buying Bitcoin, right? Remember, we had MicroStrategy. So we have Grayscale buying. We have MicroStrategy buying. And it's not just MicroStrategy, right? There's other companies who are also buying Bitcoin. You know, Stone Ridge, Galaxy Digital. There's an entire list. But PayPal, just PayPal alone buying 70% of all newly mined Bitcoin last month this is going to start getting very crazy if this keeps up and i think it's going to keep up right not only is retail buying remember in 2017 that was mainly retail right it was a a lot of retail there was some big money coming in but it, it was a, a lot of it being fueled by retail now we're being fueled by paypal i mean this is this is getting pretty insane the increase in it bit volume implies that within four weeks of going live and going live they're saying uh by paypal going live with you being able to buy sell and trade cryptocurrencies through them so within four weeks of paypal going live with that uh, paypal is already buying almost 70 percent of the new supply of bitcoins this article was sent to me from at rig kevin on twitter make sure you guys go check him out and give him a follow uh, i retweeted him i said grayscale versus paypal uh-oh i sense a bitcoin supply war um guys these behemoths are going to price us out of the market right once bitcoin gets to thirty thousand forty thousand dollars i don't know about you guys but i i can't afford forty thousand dollar bitcoin to buy a whole bitcoin now yes you can buy fractions of a bitcoin and all that but for those of us who were looking to buy an entire bitcoin right i know that's a, a goal i know some some of you guys have deep pockets maybe you're looking to acquire five bitcoin or ten bitcoin it's going to get extremely hard with paypal buying 70 percent of the supply you have grayscale you have micro strategy it's going to get very very hard um in the article as well lucky for us rig kevin did the reading for us so in the article he says it states paypal and swipe combined are purchasing 100 of the new supply so sounds like we have a shortage coming with when you throw in the other major players keep the whales coming uh i agree we are going to have a major uh bitcoin shortage a bitcoin war on our hands whatever you want to call it i i'm very excited i know you guys are too make sure you drop the video a like uh 2017 era altcoins iota xrp and more surged 25 percent amid the crypto bull run xrp in itself is up 35 percent over the past 24 hours making it the best performing crypto asset in the top 100 by market cap coins such as iota v chain huoboy token stellar dogecoin and many more have gained over 20 percent in the past 24 hours and look at the beauty of of this XRP chart now yes this is this is straight up right yes this is um you know not sustainable at the same time it is XRP and honestly who knows what it's going to do right I I think trying to do you know very proper technical analysis on XRP it I don't I don't think it's really going to be practical right Ripple has told us that they are buying XRP off of the open markets I I assume that that is probably going to increase right they'll give us their uh quarterly reports they'll tell us how much xrp they bought how much they sold i think they're going to be buying more and more and more right again they're trying to create a healthy ecosystem for their clients that's the way they explained it at least so i'm just trying to go off what they say but this is insane again guys look at this candle this candle is about to engulf well it already has engulfed this previous price action but if we close above here i mean that that is going to be insane then we will we will have engulfed this previous price action from the previous times we're up in this range in this level for the week guys your xrp is up about like we said about 70 percent or so um let's go to the daily chart let's see what the daily is looking like and yeah that, that daily chart looks amazing on the day xrp is up if we just go to where it's sitting at right now not including the wicks we're up about 40 percent so but 39.98 40 percent on the day so this is insane guys again what uh what we were talking about is if xrp can hold this line the bear market is probably over and the bull market is in right and from my eyes looking at this chart let me know what you guys think but what i'm seeing right now is a bottom right we bottomed we came all the way down here to about 11 cents or so so we had our bottom and now we had our lower high lower high and now i mean xrp is it's it's just pumping right it is pumping hard the other thing as well guys uh remember i uh, we did a video you guys can go and check it out i think it was if we just go and look really quick 
I think it was this, it was XRP has unfair profit potential. And on that video, we basically did this. Let me just consolidate this a little bit. Uh, basically what we did at the time of recording that video, XRP, XRP was at about uh, 24, about 24 cents or so. It was, it was bouncing around, uh, but we basically did that. And we were like, hey, look, XRP compared to Ethereum, compared to Bitcoin, it has some of the most, the greatest profit potential because from where we were, which was at 22 cents up to the old all-time high, just the old all-time high, it was 1,300%, right? I think uh, when I recorded that video, it was 1,100%. So we probably, maybe we're at like 26, 27 cents. But if you were buying down there, you got roughly between, 1100 to 1300 percent gain well ladies and gentlemen digital investors if you were to buy xrp right now your gain back to the old all-time high is about 674 percent so it is still very good but it is nothing compared to what it was again very good you know long term if xrp goes to a dollar it goes above a dollar that hey 46 cents is a good buy but look at how quickly um, I, I mean, you you could have got double. You could have got double the exposure to those gains if you bought down in twenty cents, uh, twenty five cents. And and again, if you bought down here at around this, uh, you know, fourteen cents to eleven cents, then you had even more. And again, guys, that's why it's so important buy these coins that you believe in that have working products, yada yada. Buy the good coins when nobody gives a f about them. Okay, that is when you're going to make the most profit on these coins. Again, absorb the wealth transfer. That is the goal here. The goal is to absorb the wealth transfer. You want PayPal's money coming into you. You want a micro strategy, Galaxy Digital, Grayscale, all these companies, right? Uh, Deloitte, JP Morgan, absorb their wealth rather than letting them take your wealth like they have done for so long. It is our time, baby. And now BlackRock chief investment officer says Bitcoin will overtake $10 trillion gold as primary store of value. <clears throat> In a CNBC Squawk Box interview, Ryder explains why he believes Bitcoin and cryptocurrency at large aren't going anywhere. He says, I think cryptocurrency is here to stay and I think it is durable and you've seen the central banks that have talked about digital currencies. I think digital currency and the receptivity, particularly millennials' receptivity to technology and cryptocurrency is real. Digital payment systems is real, so I think Bitcoin is here to stay. The BlackRock executive highlights why he believes Bitcoin will overtake gold as the go-to store of wealth asset he says do i think it will take the place of gold to a large extent yeah i do because it's so much more functional than passing a bar of gold around and that's true guys that's the one thing i mean not the one thing but i would say the one thing that really uh, that bitcoin has as an advantage over gold is just the fact that you know if i'm if i'm not next to you I can't pay you with gold, right? I need to hand you that gold bar, that gold coin, that gold chain, that gold ring, whatever form of gold that it is, I have to put it directly into your hand. With Bitcoin, I could be in Ohio, you could be in the Maldives, and I can send you Bitcoin the, not instantly, but but near instantly, right? And as of right now, for relatively cheap, right? Fees aren't outrageous right now. So I think that's the one thing that Bitcoin really has going over, going for it over than gold is is just the fact that you you can move it much easier than gold. And keep in mind, Bitcoin is also a fixed supply, right? A fixed supply, 21 million, that's it. But you can pull more gold out of the ground. In fact, I know a guy who buys dirt down in Georgia and in this dirt, there's there's pieces of gold in it and he pans for it. So you, you can take more gold out of the ground, right? You can find it, but you can never find more Bitcoin. It's 21 million and that's it. Unless something crazy happens, it's just 21 million Bitcoin. Anyways, guys, that is the video for today. I had a very fun time making this video just because the, the market is up. The energy is good. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, again, please drop this video a like. Uh, if you really want to support it, share this video on your Twitter, share it on your sh socials, um, get it out there. Again, make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell so you'll be notified every single day when I upload. I did notice that a lot of you guys who watch my video don't subscribe, but if you subscribe and you hit the bell, YouTube will send you notifications. So you'll see my videos every single time I upload them. You won't have to keep searching them into the YouTube search bar. 
and you'll be able to see them right when they come out. Also, guys, with this run happening, keep in mind exchanges go down. I know a lot of you guys know this, um, but I know there's also probably new people here. Um, if you if you want to make sure you have the ability to move your crypto around, um, whether it's to sell, to pay people, or just to have a calm mind and sleep well at night, make sure you're storing your crypto in a cold storage wallet. I recommend Ledger. It's what I personally use. There is a link in the description. If you buy through that link, it does help support the channel. I try to put that money back into the channel, um, and, and it's a way for you guys to support me, and it's also a way for you to support yourself and be able to keep your crypto safe again with with xrp going up with all these coins going up um make sure you're taking the steps to become your own bank and take this serious okay again there's a link in the description that you guys can go ahead and use if you want if you don't want to that's fine as well with that said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and i will see you all tomorrow subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it all right have a great day everybody